What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel here for another video. I'm trying to avoid some rain, but we got my 2021 all new F-150 out here. We have a few things to install today, including our first engine modification. Guys, you know that we could not leave this beautiful truck here stock but the good thing is that we're not going to avoid any warranties today it's epa safe which is always i guess a good thing first engine modification guys let's get back to the garage and start and then start our mods let's go so what's up guys time out for just one second we are going to read a bible verse y'all okay it's interesting i was sitting here going through the book and this page just skipped over so i was going to read you something else but we're going to go with this because i don't know coincidence maybe not isaiah 8 11 i'm not very good at reading out loud so just bear with me for the lord spoke thus to me with his strong hand upon me and warned me not to walk in the way of this people saying do not call conspiracy See all that this people calls conspiracy and do not fear what they fear nor be in dread but the lord of hosts him you shall honor as holy let him be your fear and let him be your dread and he will become a sanctuary and a stone of offense and a rock of stumbling to both houses of Israel, a trap and a snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and many shall stumble on it. They shall fall and be broken. They shall be snared and taken. Two, I just want to encourage all of you guys out there, spread the word. Don't be afraid. You know, even if you hear somebody saying, uh, oh, it's a conspiracy, oh, it's a coincidence, all oh, this, that, or the other. Guys, no, it's not. The proof is out there. So keep the faith and just remember who we serve. And uh, I just encourage that you guys get out there and do the same thing. I'm doing this right now. I, I want to make a full video about like why I'm, I'm interjecting some of these little clips into some of my videos because there is a little bit of a backstory. Um, something happened and I think it's, it's, uh, it's amazing. It's remarkable. And I just want to be able to take some time and explain to you guys on camera why I feel that now it's, it's necessary more than ever. But remember at the end of the day, I'm, I'm just like you. More Mustang content on the way. Uh, we're going to try to make NMRA and race. I'm a little bit nervous honestly because if you guys have been keeping up to date with the videos we now have the small pulley on the mustang and i what i would like to do is fine tune the tune a little bit more on the dyno before we actually get it on the track with that amount of power though it's going to be interesting so i expect to see quad digits on the dyno um hopefully maybe this week or the next we can actually get that video together get it going and uh, maybe we'll see a thousand horsepower uh, uh, on a Mustang Dino, which is kind of cool. It should be a rocket ship on the track. I'm excited to see what it's going to do. But uh, if you're interested, maybe uh, this is your first time seeing this channel, my channel, and you found it from searching up F-150 content. If you're into Mustang stuff and drag racing too, you know, maybe consider subscribing. I definitely encourage it. We have a lot of content on the channel. Yeah, guys, we've been enjoying it, man. 2,800 miles on the F-150 so far. Been a blast. Been an absolute blast. Lots more content to come. Uh, we do want to do like a lift or a level kit. So that's going to be in the books at some point. I need to just figure out what I want to do. You guys have not seen the interior of the 2021. You need to go check it out, man. This thing is, uh, I'm loving it. Okay, the first thing that we're going to be doing is a little bit more protection for this right here. I'm just going to breeze through some of this. We're basically doing like three installs for today, but the, the engine mod is going to be the, the uh, I guess, grand finale. So um, we've got a Ford OEM Ford like uh, cover here that I'm going to install to go along with our Ford, you know, accessories. But um, I guess eventually maybe we'll do, you know, some kind of a lining or something in there throughout. But I'll show you what we we got. I chose Ford because you might be able to save some money with some of the other aftermarket companies, but I had a lot of uh, Ford Pass parts, so it was free. So you can't beat free mods. All right, so there we go. Ford OEM left it out in the rain, so it's super wet. Hardware, if installed, going to cut that, and then uh, basically we're going to get a uh, some Torx bits, take these loose, and then this will be done in about 30 seconds. All right, so my instructions actually say, they talk about drilling. I got a little scared there at the beginning, but uh, what we're gonna do is ignore 
<laughs> Ford because we don't need to. There's already it's already holes like in the right spots. So we're just going to continue on. So all I got to do is, for example, like this one, you just take this little, uh, this whatever it is, and drop it there, and you'll grab one of these, you'll grab one of these little screws with a little red Loctite, and then it just slides down. Once we're in the hole. And then um, we'll torque them up the spec or whatever at the end of it. But then that's pretty much it. And then we'll have a little bit more, you know, protection for the bed. Yeah, I think at some point I'll probably, you know, line next to the bed or something like that. But until that happens, you know, this is kind of a, a just a cheap little upgrade to give a little protection back here against the paint and uh, keep everything in place and, and all that like with the bed mat stuff like that but eventually yes we might actually do like a line x or i don't think i'm gonna do a drop in on this truck it might actually be a line x or something like that but uh anyway this is uh they're cheap nonetheless and you know again it doesn't it didn't really cost me anything uh we had four points so yay me finished product uh easy enough to install it takes about two minutes honestly just drop your little spacers down here into the existing holes uh, once you pull up your Torx bits and you're good to go. I didn't have to drill nothing. Everything was good to go. Uh, except that Ford apparently has shorted me one of these little washers. I do have the extra screw for it, but I don't have the washer spacer thing that's supposed to sink in here. So I'm going to have to go back to the dealership and address that. It is what it is. So we're going to continue on with the video and get to our next modification, which is going to be fender liners because it just doesn't look complete back here i mean we have them in the front but you know these trucks they always come with missing fender liners and i've just never really liked that so we're gonna address that right now should be about another two minute install it looks like we're not missing anything on this one so we do have all of our push pins we got two four six eight two and four and then also four two per side and then as far as the liners go themselves they are side specific they are stamped left and right just right there but the easiest way to tell is you see that this is flat you have this little kick corner right here and that is for your shock right there so we have this side for this side what we need to do now is just grab two of oh come here come here so we're gonna grab two of these gonna be super fast so literally going to take this and then snap there and then right here snap and then we'll do the same on the other side. But when we put the liner in, you're gonna take two of these guys and then you'll screw those into those snap locations. And then you'll take half of your, uh, whatever these are, and then they'll go into the existing holes that are already here. So you may have to love it into position a little bit. So now we're all finished. Like I said, guys, about two minutes, but I mean, we'll have a little bit of uh, more protection back here and it overall just looks better. So a little bit more black on the inside. Again, it covers up some of the holes and stuff like that for like mud protection, debris and all that. So again, to compare to the other side real fast, there is a couple of different companies that make these, but I mean, so we got all red. It's the way they come from the factory a lot of the times, but I think that uh, especially from a distance, we will get here in a little bit good old try and trusty coyote v8 gen 3 and of course we have a jlt catch can so these things are i think really important for really any vehicle and i'll explain what exactly this is real fast before we get to install it but this is a passenger side catch can i do this on every single one of my vehicles jlt always hooks it up they sent this out to me and uh, i really appreciate those guys again links in description for uh discount codes on these save you some money you Use promo code Xander13 at jltruecoldair.com. But what these actually do is trap any of those crankcase gases and oils and stuff like that that pass through your intake system or back into the intake system, which actually degrades your octane level. Those oils and gases and all that build up inside of your intake manifold, and that's that's not good. So what that does is uh, over a long period of time, it actually will degrade your performance out of the vehicle, um, sludge and stuff like that so this is one of those cheap mods that will get rid of that and prevent that so yes if you're towing with a coyote v8 especially i would really recommend something like this really even if this was an eco boost like 3.5 or the 2.7 i would still recommend a catch can they do come with pretty detailed colorful instructions here so i'm gonna have to dig through all of these and see how it fits according to my model year 2021 but it's gonna basically house right over here so this two right here is going to get replaced 
with our new catch can and it comes with a nice bracket so it's going to sit off inside of here somewhere so it's easy to get to but these things do a great job i run this on my thousand horsepower mustang glt always again they do a really good job about uh you know catching crankcase you know um sludge and oil and gases and stuff like that that you don't want to go back into your intake manifold that's a no-no especially for you know a lot of miles that we're going to be putting on this over the life of uh the engine and the truck so we want to be able to keep it healthy and uh and safe at all times so again a cool thing about this is it does not void any kind of a warranty whatsoever so any of you guys are out there that are are wondering that you're going to be epa safe so should be a very easy install uh the bracket is going to live i think over here somewhere Somewhere. And I think on the 2021, we do have to drill into this area here. I've got to, again, dig through the instructions real quick, but should be about a five-minute install, honestly. And uh, we'll have a little bit more engine protection because that's overall what this is, is just cheap insurance, engine protection, and keeping things healthy. What to do first is get these, get this off. So there's a blue tab right here. We're going to push in. So I like to push in, kind of push down, and then they just pop up like that. Same thing over here. And so it just comes off as easy as that. Just like that, guys, we're done. How this thing installs, because it took me a minute to figure out, honestly. But now that, uh, you know, if I were to do it again, that'll be about a two-minute thing. The way that this actually installs, interesting and, and kind of hard to tell in the, in the uh, instructions. So your battery box right here. So pull up on this tab, scoot it aside. You're not going to reuse that. It'll be fine just hanging like it is. Run one of the clips down through here. I had to kind of scoot it off to the side a little bit and kind of force this uh, this screw down into a uh, position there, but no big deal, didn't hurt nothing. Now this is optional over here on this side. So this one here, I just marked my spot, got a step bit and then drilled a little, just a big enough hole for this screw to go down and then there's a locking nut underneath. Yes, this battery box is plastic. It's kind of thick plastic, but I mean, this doesn't really weigh a lot. So that's about the movement right there. And this is not really gonna get that heavy. So this is what they recommend. And again, we're not having to drill into like firewall or the here or there or whatever. So I actually like this location. Now, as far as flow goes, side specific. So the JLT on this logo here matches what's underneath. And then you screw this down on top of the bracket or underneath the bracket rather. Now the left side here, which we have in my hand, goes to your PCV fitting on the valve cover, okay? Then the right side goes to the intake manifold. You do not want to get that backwards. There is a direction of flow with these. I definitely think this is one of those, those first mods that everybody should do to like really any car. In my opinion, is some kind of an oil catch can or an air oil separator, whatever you like to call them. Again, links down below in the description go check them out xander 13 promo code at jlttruecoldair.com save you some money all right guys that's gonna wrap up our video i appreciate you watching hopefully this video helped out some of you first few mods we got some weather coming in as you can see so i wanted to basically uh install three things in one video so good for you and me i guess but that's why the lack of content over the past couple of weeks is mother nature so yeah guys here we go so definitely think it looks a lot better looks a little bit more uniform with the front we do need like a lift or a level. So let me know what you recommend. I'm thinking either two inch or maybe two and a half. I'm kind of leaning towards the two inch. I don't know. Truck's looking good. Chrome, I'm not a chrome guy, but it's honestly starting to uh, grow on me a little bit. I think we might just leave it alone for a good little while, but this is it. I'm loving the truck. So I appreciate all you guys watching. Like I said, God bless all of you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully we'll be able to bring you some uh, more Mustang content here coming soon. Some uh, racing stuff finally. So there's just been a lot going on obviously. And then we're having to battle the weather, but appreciate all you guys watching again. I'll see you later. Bye.